Well, hi there. This is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. It's an insect and insects are awesome, but generally they don't make good pets, mostly just because they don't live very long in captivity and they aren't very good to handle. Well, this one's an exception. Here on Clint's Reptiles, we give scores to various potential pets using our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. We've been doing this almost every week for over four years, literally hundreds of videos. We've never given a perfect score. The corn snake and the jumping spider both came extremely close, but no animal has ever received a perfect 5.0 out of five. Could that change today? And is the Madagascar hissing cockroach the best pet invertebrate for you? To find out, we're gonna have to give the Madagascar hissing cockroach a score based on our five categories, which once again are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. I'd love to see your predictions about their score down in the comments. No cheating. Handleability is where the jumping spider and the corn snake lost points. Honestly, there are a lot of reasons why an animal might lose some points here. An animal might be very fragile. It might be quick and dirty. It might be small and easily lost. It might absorb chemicals and pathogens through its skin. It might be prone to bite, prone to stress, able to lose its tail. It might tail whip or scratch with claws. It might poop copious amounts of wet Wonka chocolate all over you. It might have venom or be otherwise able to kill you. Well, as it turns out, None of those things pertain to Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Despite the fact that I find that people are more afraid to handle cockroaches than they are snakes or almost anything else, the Madagascar hissing cockroach earns a five out of five for handling. While they aren't big, they are a pretty big insect with very solid armor. It's unlikely that they'll be damaged accidentally, though a motivated person could easily kill one. They're light bodied enough to survive almost any fall, especially given their armor. I even trust them with many children and I'm yet to have any issues, but kids are violent creatures, so do be careful. While hissers are vying for the highest score we've ever given, children get the lowest. There could be some animosity there. They don't bite. Well, the cockroaches don't, children totally bite. You can feel their little tarsal claws, but they aren't gonna do you any damage. They just allow them to hang on. They have no tails with which to whip or drop, they only poop tiny dry little pellets, and I can't remember ever being pooped upon. Of course, that could happen today. They are generally slow and deliberate walkers. They don't dart, though they may willingly fall off of you if they want to mount an escape. That said, they won't go very far. They're not fast like many roaches. They also don't fly, as they don't have wings like many other roaches. And I think that actually makes them a little bit endearing too, because they don't look like pest roaches that you know, you may have some negative feelings about. They don't absorb really anything through their exoskeleton, except air into their tracheal system. They have no venom. They pretty much have two defenses. They have some spikes on their legs, especially the males that wouldn't feel good if you wanted to smash or eat them. And they can quickly expel air from their tracheal system, causing a hiss. Mm, that's really it. They're delightful to hold. They're as delightful to hold as any insect. There just really aren't any downsides. They're even very clean, which surprises many people. I have heard of people developing a mild allergy to them, but this probably isn't something to worry about. Overall, they're just great. I'd like to take just a moment to pause and give you a one-year update on my experience with the Ridge Wallet. I got my first Ridge Wallet just a little bit over a year ago. In fact, this is it. It's the only Ridge Wallet I have, though now, uh, multiple members of our team have them. And I picked the Forged Carbon, which fits my lifestyle really well. You, you might notice like, you know, I've got a watch and everything that I have has to be pretty durable because I live my life to the max, you know? And I gotta tell you, this wallet still looks as good as, as when I got it. Like there's some tiny places where I can see some, some paint has rubbed, but I think that just gives it a little bit of character. The screws are all perfect. I haven't lost any of those. Like it has held itself together perfectly. The, the elastic is holding up. And the reality is I've been under no obligation to use this wallet in my personal life or continue to use it. I have, I, I've liked it. It's great, I recommend them. And if you think that this is the right wallet for you, 
please check it out. We'll, we'll have their website and a discount code down in the description so you can even save some money. Now back to our show. Care. Unlike dubia cockroaches, hissing cockroaches can climb, which means that you need an enclosure with a decent lid. That lid should allow ventilation, and that's probably the most challenging part of keeping these guys. They get a five out of five for care as well. They eat small amounts of many of the things that you eat. They like fruit, veggies, dry cat food or dog food. I'm not here to judge you. They love a little uneaten crested gecko diet. Just remove any extra after a day or two so it doesn't mold. The enclosure can be a tub or an aquarium, really any box with a decent lid and ventilation. You can add heat if you want them to grow quickly and reproduce abundantly, but they also do fine at room temperature. EcoEarth makes a good substrate, uh, but so do paper towels. You can provide all sorts of cool cage furnishings, but egg crate and paper towel rolls also make them happy little roaches. Care is so easy that I think they're the perfect first pet for most kids. If they can't handle this, pets aren't for them, at least not yet. And I'd like to take a moment just to say thank you to all of these people that support us on Patreon. Patreon is so important for us in so many ways. It allows us to grow as a channel. It allows us to have the equipment required to just bring these videos to you guys. It allows us to branch out and, and travel to places to, to bring you content that we couldn't in any other way. And honestly, if you want something to bewilder your friends and family as much as the fact that you have a pet cockroach, maybe tell them that you support every month somebody who makes videos in a tie about bugs and reptiles. When it comes to hardiness, we give the Madagascar hissing cockroaches a score of five out of five. You're not gonna find a hardier insect. Though they probably wouldn't survive a direct nuclear strike, they can survive many times as much nuclear radiation as you can. These guys are resilient. They can survive on limited food and water, and they live for years. Of course, if you get one that is already an adult, you don't know how old it is already. Just don't smash them, drown them, cook them, forget to feed and water them, or expose them to 10 times as much nuclear radiation as you can survive, and they should do great. When it comes to availability, I will say that there are some places where hissing cockroaches are banned, but that is true of every pet there is. Where not banned, these can be found in pet stores, every expo, and they're always available in abundance online as pets and as feeders, though to me, these are always pets. They get a five here too. And that gets us to our final category, upfront costs. This is as far as any animal has ever come while still receiving a perfect score. Well, hissing cockroaches will cost anywhere from about a dollar to maybe $15 to buy. You can get an adequate enclosure for less than $20. It will cost a bit more if you choose to add heat, but that isn't necessary generally. Substrate and hides won't cost much. This is gonna cost more than putting a spider in a jar, but not much more. So the Madagascar hissing cockroach gets a five here as well. In conclusion, the Madagascar hissing cockroach is the first animal ever to receive a perfect 5.0 out of five. Do you agree with this rating? Is there another animal that you think deserves a perfect five based on these five categories? If what you want is a pet, but you want it to be cheap, easy, and not hard to find, then the Madagascar hissing cockroach is one of, if not the best, pet that you could possibly get. Plus, you get to see that look of horror and bewilderment on people's faces when you tell them that you have a pet cockroach. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. This female is being a total delight. I haven't even like had to move her. But you, you're being as darty as a hissing cockroach can be. I'm off. Run away. No ASMR for you. No, that's not the right kind of ASMR. <laughs> Now you're in full hiss mode. Oh, I'm a terrified roach. Peekaboo! <laughs> to receive a perfect 5.0 out of 5. Sorry, Gus. You can try to get yourself out of there all you want to stop this. It's happening. <laughs>